Okay, we're ready for solving logarithmic equations, part two. How is it different? Well, we're going to use the properties of logarithms this time. Remember, if you have two logs added together, it's the same thing as one log with the inside parts multiplied together, right? So the addition of two logarithms mean you can add, you can multiply the inside parts. And then if you subtract two logarithms, then it's the same as dividing the inside parts, right? Whatever's negative goes on the bottom, whichever one's positive goes on the top, right? After we do that, we're going to change everything into exponential form like we did in part one. So let's start it off. Here we go. How about the log of 45x minus the log of 3. And that equals 1. Ta-da! So, we got subtraction, we know subtraction. Log subtraction means a fraction. Right? So we're going to have log of 45x divided by 3 equals 1. Yay! Now you know 45 divided by 3? I know I do. That's 15x equals 1. Now, we want to change it into exponential form, but we have to know the base. Oh no, this is the first one! If there's nothing here, remember what it is. If there's nothing here, it's really a 10. So that's what this one is right here on your calculator. 10 log base nothing there's nothing there so that's 10 yeah okay so what does that mean that means 10 to the 1 equals 15x well 10 to the 1 is just 10 so 10 divided by 15 if we reduce that that would be two-thirds ta da we are done that's exactly what we want let's do it again do another subtraction and then we'll do it then we'll do a multiplication how about this one log base 4 of 100 minus log base 4 of x plus 1 equals 1 oh my goodness well log subtraction means a fraction log base 4 100 over x plus 1 like that equals 1. Well now 4 to the 1, well that's just 4. 4 to the 1 equals 100 divided by x plus 1. Look at that messy thing. Oh, but this one, remember every every whole number in the whole wide world you can make into a fraction by doing this. Now you can cross multiply. It's a proportion. The way you solve a proportion is cross multiply. So the bottom of this times that, so 1 times 100 still be 100. The bottom of this times that, 4 times x plus 1. Oh my, 4x plus 4 equals 100. Let me subtract. Subtract 4, 96. I don't know what that is. 96 divided by 4. Ah, 24. X is 24. We just divided by, why didn't I write it down here? I don't know. Divide by 4, divide by 4, X is 24. Done. Okay, we did 2 subtraction. Let's do 2 multiplication. Now, multiplication is the one that is tricky. And I saved the best for last. Here we go. Log base 12 of x plus log base 12 of x plus 1 equals 1. So we know that when we're adding, right, we change that to be one log that has multiply. Multiply the inside parts. So we're going to have log base 12 of, whoops, stop that, get rid of that, x times x plus 1 equals 1, right? 
So we change the addition to be 1 multiplication. Now we know what that is. That's x squared plus 1x, right? So it's really the log base 12 of that. Now remember 1, 12 to the 1 power equals the number inside. We just did that all yesterday. So 12 to the 1 power is 12 equals the number inside. Now look at this. This is quadratic. We cannot solve a quadratic unless we make it equal 0. So that means we have to subtract 12 from both sides. And now we have 0 over here. Now if you can solve this, you can use the quadratic formula to solve it, or you can factor and solve it. Let's factor. Um, numbers that multiply to be the front are x. To make 12, I need a plus 4 and a minus 3. That would be negative 12, right? And then these two add up to be positive 1, which is in the middle. We got it. So, how do I know that I'm done? I have to say what makes this equal 0. Oh, that's negative 4. Negative 4 makes that equal 0. What makes this equal 0? Oh, positive 3 makes that equal 0. Now the deal is, in logarithms, negative answers are not allowed. Negatives not allowed. Not allowed. Why is that? Because you can't take the log of a negative number. You can try here. Let me show you. Let's try taking the log of negative 4. All right? I'll show you. It does not work. Log of negative 4. Boom. I can't do it. Oh, it did it. Huh. Oh, no, that's imaginary. See, it comes out to be imaginary. It's not possible. You can't find the log of a negative number. Not possible. I should be in a different mode, maybe. Here, let's try it this way. Now let's try log of negative 4. Yep, there we go. Non-real answer. All right, so it's a not a real answer, which what we knew is imaginary. Right? So we found it. Negative numbers are not allowed. This is the one and only that we want to use. So there's only one answer. Negative numbers, you kick them out. You throw them away. They're gone for good. Let's try again. We'll leave that little red thing down there because that's going to help us on the next one. How about this one? Log of x plus log of x plus 9 equals 1. So once again, we know if we're adding them, we can multiply the inside parts. So I've got log of x times x plus 9 equals 1. And then I know what to do here. I've got to just distribute that. That's easy. x squared plus 9x. So this whole thing equals 1. Right. So I have to change it into exponential form. I have to, have to, have to. What's the base? Aha! There's nothing there. That means you know it's 10. 10 to the 1, that's 10, equals x squared plus 9x. Once again, it's quadratic. I cannot solve it unless I make it equal 0. The only time. So 10 minus 10, that'd be 0 on this side, equals that. Once again, can you solve that? I know you can. x, x, let's see. To multiply to be negative 10, you'd have to have 10 times negative 1. This times this makes negative 10 adds up to be 9. Yeah, baby. So what makes this side equal 0? Negative 10. What makes that side equal 0? Positive 1. But negative numbers are not allowed. There's only one answer. Positive 1. One's the number that makes this work. So there we go. We did them all. And that's what today's homework is like. So, see you again. Oops. Did I not zoom out that last one?
I have to do that one again. Sorry about that. Log x plus log x plus 9 equals 1. I know what that is. That's x times x plus 9. And that's just x squared, whoops, x squared plus 9x equals 1. And then what is that? That's 10, right? 10, 10, 10. You know if there's nothing there, that means 10 to the 1. That's 10 equals x squared plus 9x. That makes... I can't solve it unless I get 10 on the other side. Doo, 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 doo. I can factor that x plus 10, x minus 1. They have to multiply to be negative 10, add up to be 1. I did it. What makes this equal 0? Negative 10. What makes this side equal 0? Positive 1. Negative numbers are not allowed. Kaboom! 1 is the answer. Only one answer. All right, I will see you tomorrow. You should be able to do today's homework, no problem. Bye.